Van Helsing is a pretty cool guy. He hunts monsters and isn't afraid of anything. He also had a movie back in 2004 starring Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale. Remember that one? I do. How could I forget the love of my life? Well, the movie itself wasn't anything special. Critics hated it actually. Roger Ebert liked it though, so that must count for something. Anyway, there was a tie-in game of course, developed by Sapphire and published by Vivendi in the same year. You're probably expecting a game as mediocre and boring as the movie, right? Not this time, this is actually a pretty decent Devil May Cry clone. And it makes sense, right? Dante hunts demons, Van Helsing hunts monsters, you can't really hunt monsters without melee combos and air juggling, can you? It is also one of the few PS2 games that can run in 480p. Exciting? Sure, why not? But enough talk, let's see what Van Helsing is all about. Unsurprisingly, Van Helsing follows the movie's major plot points, taking some creative liberties when the need arises. Without spoiling too much, you are the aforementioned monster hunter, tasked by the Vatican itself to travel to Transylvania and kill Dracula himself, since the Belmont clan sucks ass at its job. On your way to the big bad vampire man, you'll meet various characters from the movie and fight many of the classic monsters from Universal's roster. To say that this game was inspired by Devil May Cry would be the understatement of the century. It pretty much copies shamelessly every single mechanic, feature and quirk that made DMC the awesome action hack and slash game that it is. And you know what? It's fine. Makes more sense copying DMC than Diablo and Van Helsing does a pretty good job implementing each of its systems and applying them to the movie's plot and setting. There are a few annoyances of course, no game is perfect, but let's dive deeper into the action and my experience with the game. Van Helsing really wastes no time putting you into the thick of it. You start your adventure and there is not even an intro cutscene, the game just plops you into the tutorial room. Got all the basic controls? Great, now fight a boss for your combat tutorial. What the hell, not even Devil May Cry is this brutal in its introduction. Doesn't really matter though, since Mr. Hyde is piss easy, as your first enemy should be. Goats and chickens slain by the hands of Mr. Hyde, you have been avenged. Looks like he didn't get away with it after all. Don't you feel silly? After this quick and honestly pretty exciting intro, the game begins proper. You know, for a game that can run in 480p, its presentation didn't really blow me away. I mean sure, the graphics are fine and do a good job immersing you to the game's general atmosphere, but they're not amazing either. The colors are too muted and everything is too brown. The fact that most of the game takes place in ruined villages and castles doesn't help either. Eventually everything feels kinda the same. Maybe I'm asking too much, but a few more effects or particles could really liven up the environments. The models are also a bit too low poly for my taste. They tried really hard to portray Hugh, the jacked man, as realistically as they could, but his hair looks like a moldy rug, nothing like his glorious mane from the movie. And look how they massacred my love. At least the animations are nice and fluid, and as long as the characters are zoomed out, the graphics look good and the environment's passable. As for the music, it's alright, it has that gothic feel to it and accompanies the action and setting well, but the compositions themselves were too basic to be memorable. In any case, most of the time your ears will be too busy bleeding by the sound of constant gunfire to even notice the music. Surprisingly, Van Helsing is voiced by Hugh Jackman himself, adding a bit more authenticity to the experience. Don't get too excited though, he's phoning it in pretty hard. Welcome to Assyria. So nice to see you again. Again? You know me? Great performance there, man. Could you sound any more zoned out? Maybe I'm being overly critical, but the game's presentation was mediocre, good enough for what it tries to do, but nothing too spectacular and memorable. Kinda like the movie, huh? Time to really get into the meat and bones of this game, the combat. Did I mention this game plays exactly like Devil May Cry? I think I did. Yeah, Van Helsing has all the standard melee combos and aerial moves Dante has. You can also lock on to enemies and dodge sideways, backwards and forwards to avoid damage. 
Locking on depends on what enemy is closest to you, and unfortunately you can't switch targets manually, but it never became a problem for me, I was always able to target the enemy I wanted to focus on. Overall I found the controls to be pretty fluid and responsive, and Van Helsing was much more agile and easier to maneuver than Dante, especially when it came to dodging attacks. Hell of a vertical leap too. Sometimes however there was a huge delay between some actions like attacking and dodging which caused me to take damage, but it wasn't a big deal. Enemy variety is pretty large and you'll be fighting tons of different enemies like zombies, gargoyles, sirens and mutant owls? Not quite sure, but they can kick your ass pretty quickly, even at normal difficulty. Thankfully you have infinite continues, even though the game will place you in the previous area from the one you died on. Confusing, but still a hell of a lot better than DMC's yellow orbs. And while most enemy encounters are pretty challenging, since enemies attack you constantly and tend to swarm you without letting you counterattack, the bosses were ridiculously easy. Their basic attack patterns were very predictable and easy to dodge, and there were plenty of opportunities to riddle them with bullets. There lies Van Helsing's first major flaw. It suffers from what I like to call Devil May Cry 2 syndrome, meaning that your guns are way too powerful and the combat relies heavily on them. Many enemies can fly and come down only to attack you. You can use your grappling hook to bring them close to you, but most of the time they are too many for that. So you'll just be mindlessly shooting them until they are no more. There are some neat little gimmicks, like using special ammo for your guns to make your attacks more powerful, and an insta-kill move you can do every now and then, but there is no grading system for your combos, and thus no incentive to break from the endless shooting and dodging cycle. Even the game itself sours you with a bunch of different raged weapons from the very start, while you're stuck with your shitty little blade disc thingies as your only melee option, at least for a while. Besides all that, my only other problem with the combat is that there is too much of it. Every single time you revisit an area, a random assortment of enemies will appear, making backtracking and exploring annoying, especially when you're lost and trying to figure out what cryptic bullshit thing the game wants you to do. And if that's not enough, combat encounters drag on for way too long, with enemies coming out again and again and again. I get it, I'm Van Helsing, I love hunting down monsters, but I don't want to have to kill 20 of them every time I enter a room. After a while, you're just fed up with it and run away from it all. Thankfully, there is more to Van Helsing than the combat, with secret missions you can unlock by finding hidden easter eggs. A little on the nose, game developers, don't you think? Combos, items and power-ups you can buy at the end of each mission, and even cheats you can unlock, which range from helpful to silly. Ah, the good old days of gaming, when games didn't take themselves too seriously and had neat little things you could unlock without paying $2.99 a pop. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, some attacks can make you drop your hat, and you get a bonus if you end the mission with your hat still on. I don't get it, if I had hair as glorious as Van Helsing, I'd never wear something to hide it. Maybe he has a bald spot, I don't know. Anyway, I know that most of the stuff I mentioned is from Devil May Cry, I've said it a thousand times already, but everything is well implemented, adds variety, and is a pleasant respite from the endless and sometimes monotonous combat. What is a movie tying game? Most of the time, it's a miserable little pile of bad game design and awful gameplay. Not today though, as Van Helsing manages to surpass all of my expectations and deliver a very enjoyable experience. It's derivative as hell and the combat can be a bit repetitive, yes, but its fluid gameplay, good presentation and bonus content more than makes up for it. Give it a try when you can, you're gonna enjoy it way more than a movie. And that's all I had to say about Van Helsing. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, comment your thoughts below and subscribe for more stuff, you know how it goes. Have a great day and until next time, take care and have fun.